Okay, so we're back. You've now taken some time to put your goals in quarters, which I love for you. And now I wanna actually do an exercise with you that once again is specified in the planner here. So the pivot planner gives you time to go through your different um, weeks. And what I love about it is that each of the weeks are organized in this manner. Each of the weeks will ask you, what are the top three things that you want to accomplish for that week? I do it that way because once again, I'm all about focusing your energy, your resources, and your efforts. So if you know that your overarching goal for the quarter is a specific thing, your micro goals for your week should support that. So let's say this is the quarter where it's all about self-development. So uh, perhaps one of my mini goals for my week is to finish module one of my Excel class that I'm taking, right? Or maybe it's to make sure that I have um, studied my materials at least once a week or maybe three times a week, whatever that is. And I put my goals there. These micro goals are really supporting that big goal that I have for my quarter. And then here we also have habits on the side. Habits, this is your way of tracking what are the things that you should be doing that would help support you being healthy and effective at these goals that you're working on? So let's say you're taking these courses. Well, maybe it's helpful for you to sleep on time. Maybe you want to go to sleep before 11 p.m. Maybe you want to drink more water. Maybe you find that when you walk in the mornings, you have more clarity and you're less grumpy. Put those habits down there. All of these habits are supporting you in becoming the best version of yourself. And then your days will just be kind of um, written out. What did you do? You want to be able to look back and account for your time. Did you waste it? Did you um, use it effectively? Did you find time to have rest? I put on here, uh, you'll notice that Saturday and Sunday are actually merged together. I'm a big fan of finding rest on the weekend. And so the to-do list there is a little bit shorter because you should be taking time, not trying to tell you what to do, but I recommend taking time to rest whether that is sleeping in a little bit later, maybe it's connecting with friends and family, but it's not always work, 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 work. Sometimes you wanna make sure that you're putting in time for rest and relaxation and to refuel, right? Going towards your goals without any type of rest is not a good recipe for success. Um, and then every day, it's gonna ask you for gratitude. What are you grateful for? Gratitude is just this clean fuel that helps you out in life. So I always recommend having gratitude. So that's what your week looks like. You want to reflect on your week. At the end of every week, you want to look back and say, hmm, did I use my week in a way that I'm proud of? R Notice I said that, in a way that I'm proud of, right? I didn't say use it effectively. I didn't say uh, use it in the way that was the most productive. Did you use your week in a way that you are proud of? And that's unique to you. So you ask those types of questions. And then at the end, um, you'll have your four weeks. Some of the months have five weeks. And then you get to your monthly reflection. You want to look at all of your weeks in the month and you want to reflect about how it went. Notice this is month one out of the three months that are in your quarter. Notice this is all very strategic and so, so cool to me. I love when things like are coming together. So in your monthly reflection, you want to ask yourself just a reflection question. Reflecting back on the month, how did it go? So you add a little note here about your reflection. Notice you can do bullet points, you can write a whole essay if you want, but I think journaling is a really good practice and so I have some prompts here for you to work through. And then I want you to notice, what was this month's pivotal moment? It could be anything. Um, for example, um, I had an event at work and someone said, hey, you're such a great presenter. I love the way you presented the information. That was just so great. I love that statement. I think it validated a lot of what I had been working so hard on that previous week. I'm gonna write that down here. Someone complimented my work and really liked my presentation, great. And then I want you to notice one thing I will adjust for next month. Maybe something you were doing wasn't working out so well. Rather than beating up yourself, you're gonna make a note and say, hmm, the nights when I stayed out late didn't really work well for me. The nights where I was um, going out to eat all the time didn't really work for my budget. So you wanna just make a note, what will I adjust? for next time, what will I do differently? And then you always come back. Remember, you are going through gratitude every single day of the week. And then you're gonna say, what was my source of gratitude this month? What really am I just walking away so grateful for? You don't have to make it up. You can go back in the weeks and look at that. And then lastly, what was this month's act of goodness? 
I'm so big on philanthropy. I think it's so important to always make time to do good to the people around you. So this could be anything. Um, also at the back of this journal, there is um, a little grid that talks about your random acts of goodness. And the grid here has 24 spots, meaning you're trying to do about two acts of goodness each month. And if you do two acts of goodness, you're going to fill out every one of these boxes and so the goal the challenge for you is to think about how can you be good to people it's not always going to be monetary think about love languages some people's acts of service is you know you did something nice for them you babysat for the kids you got them picked up their groceries one day uh, maybe it's words of affirmations uh, maybe it's a gift maybe it's physical touch any of those things are acts of goodness so make sure you include that every single month not only does it fuel that person, it actually fuels us when we're being grateful and when we're, when we're being good to other people. So that's just one way to think about it. You have these big goals for the year, but then you want to make them into micro goals and be really strategic. Let me know what you think in the comments below. How are you going to attack your goals this year, this week, this month? Let me know. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Since you're already here, you might as well watch some more videos. I have videos on minimalism, faith, finances, sustainability, all sorts of things. So check out any of these videos around here. Take care. Happy watching.